Savage here, short bike video on my Dodge Ram. What are we doing today? Well, I'm in messy clothes. We are doing a nice and simple, but cost-effective way of getting better economy, your motor running a little better, a simple, basic service. Now, I'm not talking about the oil change. I'm gonna do that once I get the sump. The seller is still getting that for me. Do you know he's actually being a really good fella? Um, I whinged, but not about him, about the motor and how you do bodies with your heart. Now, what he gave me recently was this shiny white box with a brand new da, 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 air filter. So we're gonna quickly change that. That is really, really easy to do. Um, you know, blind man can do it, as they say. I have my steps here because I'm a short ass. But I did learn something. Now, the internet is not a bad place. And I want to refine that, actually. It's, it is a bad place, and I think it's made the world closer but further apart. Anyway, 16 new plugs, not the ones I had before, they were too short. These ones are your nice platinum double ones. Um, as I said, it's got 16 plugs in here. Why does it take 16 plugs, two per pot? Heard a couple of reasons. One, you can lengthen the services. So it's got two plugs, instead of 10, 20,000 miles, you can do up 40,000 miles of these. Second one, it's because the DMS engine, so you can run on four pots. Third, because it increases brake horsepower, etc., etc. I'm sure they're all right. But while watching the internet, this YouTube, I noticed a guy doing a service on one of these. Now, so while I was trying to do them the other day, I was in the top of the engine, my legs were dangling on this little seat I was trying to get. I got two out, but I looked further back, it's been quite difficult. I found a little cheat, which I'm going to share with you. Wherever I go, she's just watching. Yes. I watched a fellow YouTuber get from them under here. You took out this inner arch. Now mine's got these covers on it, so a few more bolts I'm assuming to get out. However, they're here, literally. So that's what we're gonna do today. Who doesn't want a few miles per gallon, an engine sounding better. I've actually got a couple of videos coming up on this little Dodge Ram. So today is gonna to be a simple uh, air filter and plugs. I've got an exhaust coming, so I'm gonna cut the old exhaust off and put the new exhaust on. That's gonna save me a big lot of money. Now, you know what I say about this bloody eBay business, you know, English seller, you look down, you find from China. I just brought some, you know, little wind deflectors that go on the windows, just a little strip. I bought a set of them. I looked at the information. It said it would cover my motor. I waited a week. I emailed them, where is it? They said, I'm oh, very sorry, um, customs, whatever, rubbish. And then they then they said, um, but it is for your 19 model. I was like, no. And I read all for the script, and I swear they changed it. I honestly swear they changed it to 19 plus, and not the motor that I actually originally clicked on. I used to take a screenshot of everything. They've done it to me there. So very sorry, rubbish. And now all of a sudden, the ones that I did want have gone up by about 10 quid. Just asked for a bloody refund. But there would be a video coming up of them if I bother getting them, if they do send them to me, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Now, after that, the seller got me the sump. It's coming in at 10, 12 days or something like that. So sump gasket and sump, an oil change and filter, that will be the next one. He gave me the filter as well, so I can't knock him. Sump, gasket, oil filter, air filter plugs. What a top seller. Anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Quick look at this air filter. I like it to be really dirty, because I'm thinking if I change it, I'm gonna be getting more miles to the gallon. Now, miles to the gallon, I worked out yesterday, I think it was saying I was getting 11. I actually worked out with the journey I did, I was thinking about 14. That's, well I'm happy with that to be honest with you. Let's see what this does, let's get on with it and let's take the air filter out and show you how good or bad they are. Okay, four clips, lifts off. New one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I'll just actually make sure it's the right size, which it is. That's not good. Um, I'm assuming this may even be a, a, a can in one. I, I, I don't, it's not supposed to be that color, is it? This is gonna help, no matter what, this is gonna help. Oh God. Yeah, this is a special brand one. Hasn't got a bit on it though. Well, goodbye, hello clean filter. I am gonna just take off a little bit of pipe in here, make sure it's all clean in there before I put this back. That's nice to see. Extra miles per gallon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Let's get on with it. On the upside, I did buy myself a new compressor. It's a 
bit noisy. Yeah. <laughs> I've just checked in there and there's mud, heavy detritus in there. Don't always blow it out. Cover things over, I'm going to blow it out. There's so much in there. Watch. So I was right, canning, I've got some cleaning fluids, you can spray all these up and clean them, but do you know what, I'm not going to, I'm going to use that nice new clean one I've got in there, um, can you, <coughs> unnecessary, this is my original thought I think I said to you before, the way that this guy treated it, I know it's a Canadian one, um, a fellow um, Ram UK uh, Facebooker, <laughs> he did a Carfax for me and I found out that it was from Toronto uh, in Canada and they have winters from September to April. Um, they use road soap like we do, so they pretty much do get rusted and they move them to California and put them over here because it's cheaper on taxes and all that sort of stuff. So I found out that. But it does confirm to me the last owner used this and just used it and abused it, you know, um, really dusty, whatever. Um, I've made sure I've covered the bits that I needed to and I've blown all that out now. Um, nice new filter in there, so we're going to get on with the plugs. But it, it just shows, doesn't it, you know? Um, this is going to run better. The reason why I sucked all that out was because if I'm going to floor this motor or use it in any, you know, capacity that I want to push it a little bit, which I don't. <laughs> That will just suck it up. It was all loose in there, dust. No reason for it, let's get rid of it. So I've done that. Let's have a look at getting these arches out now and see if I can do these plugs. A quick look though, and I've got to wipe this over. Um, it's only three little clip, four little clips here, and it just picks up. Uh, I'm gonna take that off and make sure that's all clean as well. But rather than getting this all this head bit off, we're just gonna see if we can get these plugs the way they've said. So you do start to wonder, are these Americans right? Taking off this outer plastic bit and the inner arch, what are they? Arch, I can clean it up. Inside, I can clean all that up. Now the screws were actually reasonably easy. These little bung things are bloody hard to get out. You need a little uh, tool that pierces them out. However, one, two, three, four. How simple can that be? I'm so impressed I'm not even on screen, but let's have a look closer. Look at that, one, two, three, four. There's all the coal packs. Oh yes, train horns. That's why they're so bloody loud. And there's the compressor. You do get a look under here. Nice and simple. See what I'm trying to say? I mean, all right. You know, this has probably been here since the dawn of time. Look, I don't like all that sort of crap in there. You know, let's, uh, I'm gonna blow all this out, wipe it down and clean it. I'm also gonna polish all this because this can start to get rust and it ruins them, you know, it is horrible stuff. But you get to see a lot of little bits under here and I like being nosy, look at the size of that engine. But look at that, this is just like he said, up there, how hard was it gonna be with this in the way and that in the way and everything else they're trying to get right to the back. I mean, this side may be a little bit more difficult, I don't know, because you've got this steering rack and stuff in the way. <laughs> Gotta do it. Clean up while you're there. So, eight plugs are out. Here's a selection of four. The selection of the eight plugs. All various burns. They've been in there quite some time, and I am going platinum thanks to uh, my mate now. So, these will fire better with the air box. I could have cleaned that one, but I prefer just putting a fresh one in. While it's out, I might give it a really good wash and clean and then maybe put it back in. I don't really want performance or sound, really, although I'm going to cut the exhaust. But you can see these are going to be so much better. I reckon, I reckon, 
Platinum plugs, new air filter. I'll be surprised if I don't get about two miles to the gallon extra. Doesn't sound much, but on 26 gallons, you know, that's a, that's a good couple of quid saving. Let's get all these back in. Let's get around the other side. It's good doing it. What would, what would Dodge charge for this service? Oh, I wouldn't like to think. When they charged, they said to me they were going to charge me £75 per hour. You're looking at another two, three hundred pounds on top of this. A bit rude. When you can do it yourself rather than sitting in your arse and watching television. And I found a little water leak. You're going to find little things. I'm going to clean up, put these back in, get around the other side. So there we have it. Eight plugs back in. I did just start it just to make sure that it didn't go. A little bit of engine management like before I put all this back in here. Do you know, I am thinking, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself, 80 odd quid for the plugs, or 100 pound for the plugs. Um, if you'd gone to main dealer, they'd have whacked up there, another 50% of it, 150 quid for the plugs. Air filter, I don't know, 20, 30 quid, they'd have whacked up to 50 quid, there's 200 pounds there. And then they'd have easily, I mean, this is just a basic, so plugs and filter. Um, they'd have easily charged two hours, if not more labour. It's like 467 pound plus VAT, fuck. Do you know, just to not sit on your ass. Half done, hour odd, first time doing it. Um, it does look better under here. Cleaned it up a little bit, which I wouldn't have done. Uh, I've got some of the under um, seal stuff that I used before. It's a, a messy old job. I'm just gonna do little bits that I couldn't get because the plastics were in the way last time. So I'm gonna just spray them up and then uh, have a quick look under here, get it all back on, round the other side. Now, I've just got this little bit here, I'll show you in a second. For most of you, I realise you're probably not going to have the same ground clearance I have. So I suggest you get a jack. Jack the um, left or right side, whatever you're doing, up. And then you're able to get the arch out. It's a lot easier. You've got to have a cut of tea. Remember, cut of tea, not cup, cup of tea. Yeah, it's very British. Cup of tea. Cut of tea. That's where I'm from anyway. So that's all back on, sprayed up. This side's off. Let's have a quick look. So you wouldn't even guess I've been there. It's all back on there again. That's all nicely done. Happy days. She came up with a cup of tea and did that. Bad wife. But uh, yeah, it's all got to come out, isn't it? Yeah, I'll get all that out. Anyway, look again. Look. One, two, three, four. That might be the way to push it up. A little bit tight over there, the steering rack. But again, very, very easy accessible. Loads of wires. Get your lights all sorted, couldn't you? Now, the other day, I wired in a little bit here, but that's the little bit you have to lift up. And that just clicks up. Anyway, so much easier to work on under here. I could have done my serpentine belt. I could have got under here and pushed that on properly rather than dangling like a fool like I was and my legs everywhere. And again, a little bit of a spray on here. I'll just spray it black. You know, I just want to get all that sorted there. Can you see that compressor now? The tube anyway, it's not the main compressor, but it's a big tube that holds the uh, air. Yeah. All right, let's get these ones out. Let's see how dirty these are. And uh, then get the new ones in there. And I want to start the baby and listen to what she sounds like then. What? Now I've got to eat. Right. The wife bought it for me, it's very warm. And brown bread. Well, oatmeal bread. Anyway, it's nice. Right. 16 plugs. All in pretty shit condition, I'd say. You know, a bit of oil here and there. But, they've all been changed. Yes, deleting. Hmm. Got to put the arch back on. Inner arch. I'm a little scout round. Spray some more wax on underneath it. But I'm going to give it a start to make sure before I put it back. I know that side's done. Let's just see what it sounds like.
sounds quieter. And I think that will be because of the Canon filter. Having an original filter um, will make it quieter. I've had this a lot on the peds, and it's the same as the cars. You put an air induction on it, it gets louder. So obviously it's quietened it a little bit, but I've got the exhaust to do next. I'll see how it runs, see what response it gives. Uh, if I don't like it, I'll uh, completely wash and clean the can in, and I'll stick that back in, because they are washable and cleanable. It's just you never know quite what they're supposed to. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be red, aren't they? When you first get them. Anyway, I might blow it all through. I might just do that. Right, I'm going to wax under there, put the arch back on. You can see the mark that the covers give the older arches, but you've got to have them on. I mean, can you imagine the tyre? Yeah, they wouldn't like that, would they? Anyway, it's all back on in here. While I'm here, I'm going to tidy these up. I'm going to connect that back up there. I'm going to spray all that, make sure that's nice and clean. I might rub it down first, actually. But otherwise than that, yeah. You really can get to all the bits you want to under here. But, job done. So, as I, so, as I say in all my videos, job done. Top the water up, because I found that little water leak. And here's a quick look around the vehicle. There's a full video of it if you haven't already watched it. But this was basic service. So plugs and air filter, couple of hours, never done it before. Well worth doing. You haven't got the rise, I've got jacked the motor up. I'm not sure this will work on all Hemis or, you know, ones like this, Chrysler ones. Don't know. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye while you get to look around the motor. Take care of yourselves. Keep an eye out for my next videos. Bye-bye.